Good, <clears throat> good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, another wondrous propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, Master of Propaganda, Hero of the Reich, Defender of the Fatherland, and the good man who delivers so much entertainment to you on a daily basis. We shall be watching here. RT and Colonel fighting for the Soviet Union here on Winter Zemowski. It will be a one versus one, obviously, since there's no one fighting alongside him. But fighting for the glory of socialism it's done. and the Soviet way. Ready. Taking on the fight here under the banners of the first tank corps rolling out here to take on Raptor fighting for Germany, holding up the lines here in the name of the 16th Panzer Grenadier Division, tasked with holding Cis Village. The small elements of a panzer division nearby ready to break through once it's fully arrived to support, you just in case. The 16th Panzer Gunner Division was actually shattered on the eastern front, later reconstituted, partly, and though the shattered elements were actually used to form the 116th Panzer Division Windhund on the western front. A little fun fact there. But MD42 arriving there for Raptor. Points being secured. He's focusing pretty heavily on the left side. It would seem actually going towards a fuel pond there, but we are noting here that Khan has pretty much the exact same path in mind. Also noting an early special rifle command here for Khan. Two conscripts, one special rifle command. Could be planning something with the scout course cars already. I mean, they are quite popular, so it wouldn't be out of the way <coughs> to imagine something like that. But it's rather an interesting opening we are seeing from Raptor. He's not one I'm usually seeing on Winter Simwaski. To be honest, but nonetheless, here is Raptor doing it. At least not from this angle, but it is. Definitely so not Germans. There you go, Pioneers. One of the Constant Sally, they already took quite a few losses there as they pulled in, so ultimately they are forced away rapidly without even killing a single Boris or Ivan or Dimitri or Vasily. Hans, wait, Hans? What are you doing there? Well, no, nope. and he is on the way there for a Raptor. There are no cowards here. Three country squads there, and we're noting some we pretty damn oh, butt wire up here. Unusual spots, a bit of butt wire thus forcing the troops to sort of fun lower towards here. Not unusual, not unusual. Also, in short, he can't easily harass this point, and thus cutting off from here. But at the same time, if he was, he could sneak up here and do something there, but that's another discussion. MD42, the man to sort of hold things off here, kind of just moving back there. And looks like he's finally shifting well with something towards here, though it might be a bit late now that force is sort of getting spread out. Can't hang felt he's done what he needs over there. Immediately shifts over to sort of further pressure elsewhere. And certainly the forces of Raptor right now are awfully thinly spread out. It's a bit of a dangerous move here, he's actually committing the MD42 attack and he's called out in open. Rather risky play there, rather risky play. Oh, looks like though he might be able to pull it off slightly. No, no, never mind, never mind. It was close there, but ultimately Korn is sharp on his toes and so on, and not quite so easily deceived by the wiles of Raptor. But then we know he's actually getting his MP42 taking up positions here. Rather lucky was only comments, otherwise his MP42 would have been a lot more trouble. So it's still not going to be easy, since you'll note here that Korn just keep shifting about here. But at the same time, he's that close to the empty force, and then he'll actually be able to do something. Stop sending me invites! I mean, if you keep sending me invites, I'm not even so you need to do some yourself. I'm pretty much going to remove you from my friends list. Just a quick note there. Too many people have a nasty tendency towards doing that. Fresh units on the field. Going to send note here. The terrain here actually makes it a bit awkward fun here from the south because usually this will actually utterly block most of the troops firing. So quick note there. He's not all will be aware of that. There you go, country is fighting. No monitors by the way, no early anything here. We know actually he's gone for a reserve army. We're seeing a sniper and some irregulars already there for Con. A pretty interesting opening already there from Con. So neat irregular. <laughs> ah, I know that was terrible. Well, it is here, man to pull back the concrete and before setting up. A bit too late there, a bit too late. What do you have for us? Enemy forces are capturing MG42 our supplies. MG42 setting up. You have ordered your units have arrived. Another regular unit moving in. And then got MG42 firing away. Fire. Quickly Under suppressing fire. these hat clad men. What's standing by? Yes. And the sniper moving up, he's trying to get some of those grenadiers. Paul Friedrich, a bit down. Never quite knew what hit him. <coughs> so 
from right now. We are knowing still that Raptors off Lurks and he's using the MD-5 to sort of try and hold some of the overextended territory, which can work out at the same time. With such a position held by the so they can actually easily flank in and catch the MD-42s there or there. Plus, of course, they could sneak up there through the ice. So, in a sense, it's a slightly more dangerous position here for Raptor, though it seems he might be realizing that up north and actually shifting back to something a bit more defensible, which is not a bad idea. No sign of taking up so far from Alapta. And there we go, nice flank here from Khan, he probably has a good idea where the MD is, so he's just going straight for the cutoff point. Even sneak here, even sneak here. I mean, the Axe Mountain looks like he's secured both two points, which is great, but again, you know, the points are a bit unsecure. And there we go, using the ice to quickly harass them, that's only one of the nasty things about finding a winter some Watsky. The few can be rather harassed in nice in many ways, which actually makes it rather tricky for the Germans to play on this map. If your opponent is sufficiently a sneaky bastard. Yes, the is pushing up there, noting a fragmentation grenade is available here for Con, and there we go. Quickly locked through the windows. And poor Helmut did not make it out of there. But there we go, man, to cut things off. Going for this point as well, flame throws up. Really serious harassment going in here from Con to sort of try and put Raptor off things. Both few points now either cut off or in the neutral. Sniper versus MG42. Definitely a bit of an interesting standoff here. And the MD-42 definitely seems to be on the losing end of this. And there we go, looks like Raptor realizes and decides to get him out of there. Capture complete. Not fancying losing an MD-42 like that, which certainly would be a waste of manpower. Dennis moving up with the in the unit here. Quick to cover, down to one gonna already. Not looking good there for Raptor, North is lost. And he lost the unit on retreat. We have now installed a field hospital at headquarters. <coughs> Rather unfortunate there. And there we go. No, by the way, two pioneers caught up for Raptor. I like the mechanized company up. We have it. The men say in contact. And mines up there as well. They're lovely, lovely. And the important oh, right for it versus the mine. And he lost the entire engineer unit there. That was a small bit of luck there. They were able to catch the engineer unit there just as they finished the mine catching with a rifle grenade. So imagine he was a bit pleased there, sending the Ultraman to wipe out that flame flow and the scout killer out here for the Panzer Grenadier. A Panzer Grenadier division would have a reconnaissance element with scout cars, and I believe also most of the time they actually have some light half checks there. Otherwise, they'd have Schwimmwagens or Kugelwagens. Track right, there's the transport for the infantry, and then they'd also have an element or a battalion there sort of equipped. Company equipped sort of more regularly as well, sort of a scout company besides the half track panzer gun ideas. The half track panzer is basically acting as an infantry element to support the scout cars and sort of allow them to do their work. I imagine they could also serve as scouts. And things are a little less clear on that, despite having sort of done my best to meet the piece for the time to read up on German reconnaissance. But there we go, the 2-2-2 is up. Much more heavily armed than the 2-2-1. Of course, one thing to note about this design is actually based on a civilian car, a sort of ar armor to be a armored car. An S mine going off here. Oh! Sniper went into the S mine field and never came out. At least not intact and breathing. So that was a small victory there for Raptor. Not paying attention and got punished there by the S mines to Spang Minen. Irregulars pushing up there, undercover from the concert. They are taking quite a bit of blasting there. Punish moving up into Portugal in the church. And a quick rock nate as well. Trying to catch him on the move there, but a bit too slow there. Friedrich. Map is certainly shifting a bit back and forth here. Soldiers ready. Con now has access to something. Seeing man's question is, will he be getting in his one, or will he just ignore it fully, having other plans and yes, designs brother. in his mind? We are <coughs> losing supplies to the enemy. The They've got another rock grenade. <coughs> really intent on using them, but sadly ends up wasting the ammunition that way if they miss. Ooh, but right here, the regulars are in a bad position. The Gunnadiers might get the advantage because they keep jumping on us. They don't get much out of the machine gun. And there we go. Scout car joins in for the fight. And what is this? He's gone mechanized. He's gone mechanized. He's got himself the Gunnadier group. 
with the LMG and the escort in it. And there we go, the last director went down there. Lovely bit of work there. Noting here, you have to be mindful of terrain stuff like this can actually end up blocking the line of fire of the MG42. It doesn't always tell you if it can, but yeah. <coughs> Be unfortunate there. Though we do see a quick mechanized patrol there moving in. The 250 half track, usually part of a reconnaissance unit or Ausklärungsabteilung. So I might occasion be hand out to other usual, otherwise couldn't get a regular 251 half track. In the end though, as the sort of warp went on, they were actually being replaced by 251s, also for reconnaissance purposes. And the overall, the 250 half track was then sort of being shifted over fully towards being produced as an armored car. Basically, imagine something like this, but with this gun on top. That was actually a armored car the Germans sort of began using more and more because it was actually better than that one sort of off road. So, a little fun fact there. A fun fact. The pioneers are hitting with the conscript pushing forwards. Scout custing in needs to be careful of the regulars hiding behind the house ready to ambush with an anti tank grenade. There we go. Nice hit there on the rear engine block. Cutters moving forward to pull out of the anti tank grenade. Oh god, he's caught on the wrong side of the cover here. This is quickly turning to an active engagement here for Raptor that we do see. The 250 half of the moving in, trying to intercept and save. Ultimately, though, the scout car was not to be saved. Maybe there might be a few extra kills here to be gained for the gunners and these inside the half track. Getting a few nice kills there. Are Quite mobile, of course, that way it sort of shift, shift around the light machine gun and the gun it is inside. Also ensures actually one advantage, of course, you'll shoot a lot less accurately on the move, but at the same time, when you then aren't moving, of course, you get more accuracy. Plus, one very specific advantage is this you don't have to worry about the gun it is with the light machine gun jumping around. So in that regard, you actually get a lot more light machine gun in some ways. And now he's actually filled with a pioneer with a flamethrower inside. Forming an improvised flamethrower half track, which can turn the older be quite unpleasant for the opponent. Another sniper team up here for Khan. But in the distance, the 250 can be heard, and Khan orders his snipers to beat a very brave retreat. Half track rolling in here, and begins driving in circles. Hey, did any but feet hind snaps? He drives like an utter bastard once he's been snaps. Oh, good heavens, I told you not to give him schnapps. Oh, he doesn't even finish taking the point. But we do note a tank of battalion coming is actually up for country. We might see some armor now. And he's actually been expending a bit of fuel here towards that vehicle, so he could be a bit behind here, Mr. Raptor that he's taking up, and he's still got a bunch of the fuel for it, so it's not necessarily that bad. Could get very ugly. He's not careful. Still making some progress here and there. Can't shifting a force towards the north, and there we go. T34 on the way. No T70 or something like that. He opts straight for the medium armor. Making a larger push towards the north. It looks like he's shifting the T34 elsewhere. And there we go. Cutscourt here going to court. Pinned down by this camp of anti tank grenade. And there we go. Jackal burning down some of the action. Well, he's scanning them down, but so far seems to be limited back there. And he's holding up position in a nearby building, followed by a machine gun. Snipers once more in a pair of There go, T-34 opens up. Gets a nice hit on the half track, kills the wounds, most of the pioneers. Kills one. Sadly, that half track is lost. And there we go, kaput. Left burning on the ice. And he's forced to retreat there from the conscripts, having to force to retreat a further path because again the battle here blocks. And E42 inside the church, not really going to touch much to do that with the T34 either. So Palmer Court is up and maybe a Panther 4 then. Or what? There we go. Panzer Kampagen 4 being shifted in from a nearby Panzer Division. To assist the Panzer Grenadier. Can't get sneaking up, they're going for the cutoff point there as well. Pioneers in the building with a minesweeper, not entirely sure why they're there, what they're doing there. Bunker up, lovely. 
And apparently number 4 just hiding down there. We are noting here that Raptor's forces are a bit overextended and a bit strung out. And very much exposed to enemy armor. I mean, not to draw an anti tank, but anyways, Panzer 4 might be able to turn the tide here. Also noting he's actually a bit low in infantry. He's got a ton of pioneers. In fact, he's got two units with minesweepers. He's definitely taking the mine threat very seriously. And there you go, popping pin from machine gun and spotting scopes on the Panzer IV. And the Panzer IV actually does benefit slightly from the spotting scopes. It can actually fire further with them than without them to a certain extent. That's because, again, they can't actually see to the full extent of its range. That's a little detail there. Most people probably don't know. Of course, as you move, I mean, you don't get anything out of it. It only works when the vehicle is stopped. They're going to push us to get out of there. Panzer IV will explore that. Oh dear. A bit too reckless there, Raptor, a bit too reckless. Now Stugging out there with a T-34, already a bit more damage. That range, he will have the high advantage due to better frontal armor. Since while the T-34 had sloped armor, it was overall thinner. And there's a little detail there when usually when the size of the shell hitting the armor, the sloped armor, hit is larger than a certain extent, but the difference is too big, then the effect of the sloped armor is actually to a larger extent negated. And that's the thing the T-34 armor was recently seen, I was thinking about 40 millimeters or something like that. And when hit by a 75 millimeter gun or shell, it was less effective. So a little fun fact there again, it's not something you usually hear a lot about. But it's actually slightly important. Sherman actually suffered a bit from the same issue, though to a lesser extent, as it was thicker but also sloped less. But a nasty mine there, so many mines we wish it still his men hit a mine. For shame. But T-34 being pulled back for repairs, good job there. Con. Nice sniper fight goes for rapidly off the field here. Panzer gun it is on the way now for the Raptor. How oh, interesting. We're doing his best to get back territory. Two snipers out for Con. It's interesting. He seems to be sort of trying to really bleed out the infantry of Raptor right here. Panzer here. Returning going to be dead. A bit dangerous, and certainly he's already lost a few snipers. But there we go, Panzer ready. Grenadier joining Get in freezing. as well. Panzer four, ready. And a field gun out for Con on top of everything. We have secured the sector. There we go, sector secured. Our opponents are seizing the sector. And there you go, Panzer Four, ready to move. And there you go, a bit of telemines going down. And the moving up. Snipers here could be in a bit of a bad spot. Oh no, he lost the entire grenade squad right like that. What a shame, what a shame. There you go, Panzer Four, making use of the spotting scope, sort of make it harder to be rushed, but also make it more sort of long range. The Sally couldn't seem to hit with it. There we go, finding a way. A formidable obstacle. Panzer going to be run, um, without patch tricks, they're not going to have much there then. Few gun snipers, the church is going to come under a lot of pressure, even as the T 34 fires were as well. No, he's not going to charge into that because he knows that's a bad idea. We're noting a second field gun up looks like the colony shifting out to some slightly more static, long range fighting here. Let's ride it that way, slowly drain the life out of him. We're noting a large infantry all going in, it's water south, bands are going to the ears. Pioneers fighting a small and depleted infantry force from Con, quickly getting overwhelmed. The regular is definitely not enjoying quite the same advantage of range versus the Grenadiers. And Panzer 4 going versus the T-34. Betsy 2 for the T-34, Panzer 4, that was getting close here. 
And there we go, Vetri 2 as well. Needs to get out of there, he's in a little bad situation, there's nothing to cover it. But a Vetri 2, Panzer Kampf is here, and I just need to escape, he could try and blitzkrieg a bit. And uh, actually, Enemy time for the mid-game analysis. Current situation is a bit dangerous here for Raptor. He's been rather heavily pushed back across the field. He does have actually two Panzer IV, but his infantry is looking very, very uh, bad as well. And the Panzer IV's condition is also not looking too good. And me noting here, there already seems to be field guns trying to hunt it down, so the situation could get very ugly. And we're already noting here, of course, that Khan's armor forces. While a bit better in one department, it's also better too, and more importantly, he's actually got another tank out on the field. So he's already getting the arm advantage plus the infantry advantage. So there are some dangerous situations right there for Con. Not Con, for Raptor, I mean. Con's looking pretty solid at the moment, and of course, the center is secured. Mines will clearly move and clear up the telemines, that would be munitions wasted as well. So, right now, what Raptor needs is the more infantry, I would say. So, to quickly deplete some of those, or refill some of those ranks. A storm gets you, will also be sort of a quick measure to sort of add a bit of armor that way, a bit of numerical size, and of course, also something that will bar the enemy infantry a bit further away, and so you'll take advantage of those spotting scopes. I mean, spotting scopes and stooks are a great combination. Of course, you don't have to put it on them, you could put them in any sort of vehicle supporting the stooks, but still, spotting scopes and stooks are great. So in general, I'll suggest combining those two in one way or the other, since that way you can really get a lot more out of your stooks from a much safer distance. Otherwise, though, I mean, infantry and sort of, you know, trying to maybe sort of spread out less, secure on here and here initially, I think, and then slowly push towards here, maybe harassing at least a bit. I think if he does that, he would stand a much stronger position. He should also consider getting an anti-tank and sort of further add some anti-tank firepower instead of just relying on one Panzer IV or one Stug or some such. That would definitely also benefit him. As for Khan, I mean, he's got the stronger position now. He's got more infantry. He's got a lot more everything, essentially. He's also got a ton of munitions. He could consider, for example, using some rapid conscription to slowly build up further forces through that. That could probably help him. Otherwise, mines across the center and maybe some of the other roads here would be a good move as well. So to make it harder for Raptor to stage a combat. And certainly, while he's also at it at this stage, he could even consider saying a howitzer so because he's got the command points. That could further sort of be used to break up any assaults that Raptor might stage and also make any defense being staged by Raptor a lot more painful. So there's certainly a lot of options. I definitely think that Khan should sort of aim towards using as much as possible his commander here where he's got advantage can further use this Raptor conscription to build up more forces. Anyways though, back to the fight here. Panther needs to escape. Needs to keep moving. Ah, Raptor! Keep moving, Schnell! Don't let the Bolsheviks catch up with you. There you go, Russian rowing in. And get some damage engine off. This is bad news, but keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving towards here. Be ready to lay down smoke bombs, which is available to mechanize, by the way. And it's a good way to act to secure retreat, although with the damage engine is going to be tricky. Pioneers moving up. He needs to move everything up he can to cover. Squad if possible. Taking MG5. So I think had he built Stoops okay, earlier, or at least actually about, he might have something to come He keeps stopping up the Panzer four. what are you doing? Get it back to the base! I mean, queue up the orders, do something, just don't see him stop up. In this kind of situation, you just keep moving. And I think had he done that, he'd probably also be much safer away. And looks like we are seeing a bit of air support going. He's stopping up the Panzer IV, though, keep moving! The smoke bomb and screen there is not going to help you much if you stop up. What is he thinking? Oh dear Raptor, that was just silly. And there he goes, Panda Ball gets knocked out. That could have been avoided easily. So it seems like he might get a field gun in return, which is nice. But of course it's just the T-34 making it difficult to secure. Looks like he's getting a strong just now. A Panda Ball. Oh, there we go. Rapid conscription is actually up here for Con. Though I think the decision to time it here was a bit awkward. No, right there we did see the sniper go down. Now I just need to suffer more losses. No, you don't do have to lose entire units. There seems to be a bit of a misconception that it's basically having to you lose six squad members of any unit that has this little thing floating above them. There goes Dukes moving out. Infantry moving out. 
The problem is most of the infantry is elsewhere from the actual fighting. So I think overall it could have been timed a bit better there by Con. I mean there's a bit of timing as well to rapid conscription or relief infantry. And there you go, recurring the field gun. Shudom Gishit's moving out as well. Good, good. Can Raptor hold on to things a bit better, but that was not very well executed. I think that could have been done a bit more smoothly and he could have saved that pack more best too. But there you go, nice hit for the team for the out of nowhere, at least from the Pioneer's perspective, out of nowhere. And knocking out the one with the flamethrower tank, that was bad news for them. T-34 bet to rolling about. A 1334 on the way here. We've seen Connor's building a massive armored force. Though no artillery. You need some Mine's going up. Good, good. Rapid conscription though seems to going to be wasted again. Rather unfortunate, rather unfortunate. Shouldn't just pop it willy-nilly though. I mean, you need good time to use a disorder when you actually expect to go into combat because, I mean, you're always going to lose men either way. So use this or at least get some troops back from it, sort of make it the losses less harsh. So right there, I think that could have been executed a bit better, but either way, too late for that now. And that's definitely 160 munitions less than for Raptor to worry about. Yes, He's even using flares now. Very worried about what his opponent might do. Stuck moving forwards. We've been noting here small armored steamroller is being prepared here by Con. Pack covering the other side here, though. No, nope. a lot of the firing arc is actually obscured by terrain while there's a gap here. But there you go, Tifa coming here with 5 61 for the pack 40 already. Pioneers still about to go down. T-34 went down there, the pack actually securing a few good shots there, knocking out the T-34 team across the commander 5 to the and looks like another Pioneer went down. Heavy loss amongst the Raptors Pioneers, another T-34 went down here. Field guns and Stugan actually knocking it out. Heavy losses to the armored force of Khan in very rapid succession. And he's going to need to get out, get out, get out. That church is about to go down. Tell him as well, they have not been doing that. And there you go, back to one for the school. Hooray! Well, the harassment field being denied. Massive space there to Raptor. In fact, we're noting here that Colin is getting three times as much fuel as his opponent. And already another T-34 is on the way. Territory. Field gun covering here. T-34 moving in with a range of the field gun taking a hit. There's two balls moving up though. No, nope, there's two. It's heavy damage. So Raptor has to be rather careful. He doesn't get it lost and wasted. And now Khan is actually taking a few nasty losses there. In particular, this engagement was very unfortunate for him. And so he gave Raptor a massive breather. I mean, and he acted sort of slightly angry Your towards him. He might have actually been able to catch things off guard. Your but he was perhaps feeling a bit confident his opponent hadn't built up a sizable anti-tank force. And in part, though, what probably also hurt him was the fact he didn't just push through, but actually pulled back, keeping him further within the range of the anti-tank gun field. Instead of trying to just break through, get behind him, showing that they had to turn, and not having a chance of actually clearing them out. I mean, sometimes once you're committed, you just have to push through rather than sort of trying to extract yourself. I mean, unless you've got access to smoke to sort of rapidly pull down, I mean, usually such an attempt to pull back can end up badly. Because, again, you will be further stuck within the arc of fire. Mines have been cleaned out, although it seems like one there was forgotten. We are losing supplies to the enemy. 30, 34 on them again. I mean, making massive use of the fuel he's getting. Just rapidly building up his armored forces after the loss there. Stug almost repaired. Snipers need to be careful. Flare up there to sort of clear up things. Good job there, actually not a bad idea to sort of ensure you don't move blindly into the village. And that's only a sort of advantage the sniper can give you, the sort of sniper that is. Level work there. Stug wants to take it. Back. And 
And a barrage return there from Raptor's field gun. Well, showed armor sank from another side here. But pack 45 we're noting here a second storm gets the ramp stuck here also firing, closing on MG2. Nasty engagements here. At the same time, another push happening for the South Panzer is sort of forced to deal with that, though they are heavily outnumbered and outgunned. So the Ultra more veteran troops and then that tank's going to end up fairly there. Fear for Raptors, Panzer gonna down sub. T-34 Raptors pulling back north. Fun grenade though, actually ends up doing nothing towards the occupants. They go Panzer's force retreat, Panzer's going up with DP left behind. They could secure that actually. I'm trying to benefit greatly there with the veteran to me. Yes, comrade. Field gun crew actually been cleared up by the Oh, they actually pop out. I think he's trying to secure the DP, but it's a bit tricky due to the proximity to the building. So I think that might have been an accidental misclick there. It can be actually a bit of a fast to secure weapons close to buildings, for example. You just really have to sort of hope you sort of get it right because sometimes it'll just pop up with something else like the ball there and you can't get it. Stu here fighting number two, to Philly going in again. Stu here almost, well it's actually fully prepared again and very close to Philly number two. Need to pull back that stronger shots, come on Raptor. Quick fun. A bit slow there. But actually managed to bounce one shot, the rest failed to hit. Tap forward setting up, Stu moving in. And there you go, maybe you quickly realise he's actually been in a bad situation there, 2 4 pulling back. Yes, comrade. Going to need some repairs on them, he's got conscripts and engineers to do, and of course... Reserve Army also offers conscript repair hey, kits. Be brave, comrades. You have orders? Rifle grenade in there, conscripts sneaking about. Comrades moving in. Under fire. And Storm gets its filings there. Yeah. Trying his best here versus the Conscripts, but a bit close, a bit close. It could get hit there with an anti tank grenade, even in a very bad position. But nobody actually see it. The Con pulls back. Thanks for time to go over to Raptor once more. Conscripts called here, quickly wiped out, noting a light machine gun by the way, on on this book. This one, by the way, meant primarily for self-defense into Stuke, otherwise had no light machine or machine guns on. Although a later Stuke, he actually had a coaxial machine gun. So, sort of a late model Stuke, he actually have two machine guns on it. Fun fact. Fun Shoot fact. And some Stukes actually had a bit the same system as the heads, I believe, with a remote controlled MG on top. That is, it had a small periscope and then you sort of had a thing down the handle. A more T-34s, more T-34s, still no sign of a how tank and I think he could benefit from that, but that's ultimately just my opinion. More flyers going off there, he really sort of trying his best to sort of get clear sight of targets, trying not to run into any sort of nasty business, which is by the way a good idea. And there we go, we do see spotting scopes here, this to sort of fight a bit more independently, also that one's too close. Very close to victory two there, very close, one more hit. Man here, by the way, still not cleared out. That's everything going to be dangerous if he's not careful. And there we go, Vetri 2 hit the snipers and gain Vetri 2. More armor and slightly higher rate of fire. Actually, coming up over the field, I'm going to note here what he's doing. He's actually keep on moving. He moves through the arc of fire, which is also one thing to sort of do. And actually, sort of turns around to deal with it. But comes under fire from another field gun, has a pull up from that one, though it's a bit farther away. And the buildings here rather make things harder. The T-34 might be sitting in, Pack 40, the field gun fighting in, Pack 40 moving up, other Stu Golds moving in. Bit chaotic here for Raptor, his forces split up. Can't threatening to pull through them. But right here, T-35 actually sets up a slightly nicer position and gets caught here. Knocked out. Mine went off there. So that was a tripwire for our mine. Otherwise, that could have ended up much more badly for the Panzer Grenadiers. And Raptor does it once. We do see Panzer IV command tank on the way. I've been failed. Panzer Wagon on the way. Ah, 
Oh, sets off the telemine. What rotten luck. Didn't even kill the conscience for doing so. There you go, Pentacle Command Tank. Good at dealing with infantry, and of course, on your own territory, all supplies a defensive bonus to any of your troops within it. Which can certainly mean that your armor, for example, becomes a lot tougher. But Khan is definitely using a lot of text in this fight. German territory increases. Kanto's in for that experience, they need to get out of that. Very close to losing the entire unit there. And T-34 trying to avoid the Panzer off from the Grenadiers. Though if he gets caught out there on the ice with the Panzer Cross, that could be very bad, but looks like he managed to pull back across. Invading a watery grave. Still too many to support the Panzer Fork. Command tank. Fighting back seriously, still moving in. Crunches out on the open and take never lost there. Nasty engagement, nasty game, keep it all rhyming. Target weak point will be good, target weak point. There we go, target weak point, can he get it off? And there we go, target weak point went off, damaging it. Ah, shot failed to miss or connect, by the way. Very close to victory, three now. Con rapidly forced to pull back, field coming in to cover the retreat there. He knows that grab, so he's not going to push his luck to go into the enemy's base, which could be nasty. Yeah. Back here. And now the T-34 where they want to pull back for repairs. It's Suki being sent in on its own. Careful, Raptor, careful. Forsyth. Remember, it's not a panzer. And right, the moves into... What is he doing? What is he doing? Not sure if that was bad pathing or what, but right there, damage engine. T-34, though, is not moving yet. T-34 on the other hand, coming on a 5 minutes to Ampac 40. Very close to victory 3 now, and there we go, T-34. Slowly making this move, it's going to have an easy time here. Stuke has very little room to maneuver on. No response from Raptor to well support the Stuke here, caught on his own. Quickly getting behind it, make it very difficult to turn around. Ah, uh, now he's actually trying to escape. But there we go, went down. A very bad tactical decision there by Raptor was ultimately punished very harshly. Stuart is moving in, but again, use it like a tank. And remember to stop when you have to use the spotting scopes. You could probably gone off a hit there if you just used it, but oh well. Panther 4 command tank with a gun to save. And there we go, field gun knocks it out. Heavy armor loss is all of a sudden now for Raptor instead. Con having rather been the leader previously in the heavy armor loss department. Counter barrage there for the field gun. Sorts out the veteran three field gun crew. Now just needs to enjoy. Doesn't blow up his own men. Stop shooting, Freely! Stop shooting, say are dead! Oh dear, Stuke about to get flanked. No, oh, oh, he doesn't, he doesn't, oh, he does ah, oh. this is bad, he really needs to be a lot more careful with his assault guns, or at least have a pack covering them first, if he's going to do that, but looks like this time around he got a bit lucky, that he's gone very ugly there for his jump his shots, and man to take that T-34 down to half health, Need to get the two rapid repair. Oh, keep it holding down in the end. Looks like there's a field gun here, caught it. Another Panzer IV command tank. Enemy is attempting to steal our sector. 
quite looks like he's mobilizing up here for counter against the T-34. Close to the T-2 as well for that. Meanwhile, another assault set into the base, being caught here by a lot of machine guns. Raptors now more seriously fortified. They're being sent, and there go the assault moves in. Members are spotting scopes. Big target waiting for that matter. Looks like there's no reason for it. There you go, a bit of damage to the Stook. Very, very close to Vector 3. Engine damage on the Panzer Commanding, and there we go. Vector 3. And Spotting Scope providing with the line of sight there to fire the main gun. So far, heavily damaged out. No! The mine! The mine! My beautiful Sturmgeschutz! Oh, what a waste that he only spotted that mine early and cleared it out, and he's still alive! What a tragic loss, what a tragedy. Say what all he was a German. I was going to continue to fight. Grenadiers moving up. The T-34 going to get caught on there for the victory. In fact, boy, that could be very bad news for the crew inside. Ah, oh, it blows up and they get sunk. Oh, and the trap. Well, ditch got turned into a mass grave. Things are living a bit desperate here for either side, though I think Con is rather the one suffering more from this reversal of events. His armor coordination in particular seems to have rather gone down as he spreads the armor out a lot more now, meaning they're much more separated and much more easier for Raptor to handle one by one, which is overall not really what he wants. I mean, the T-34 is not really a tank that excels that greatly on its own, unless your opponent is rather weak. So right you here, Khan is actually live. only making it easier for Raptor. Now we actually knowing a howitzer is going up. So it looks like the Spartan, you know, Khan, I think, having had the chance to really get in and get an advantage of that. Instead, it is Raptor that will be getting a howitz. Like the Feldhaubitz. Down to That's definitely going to make things a bit unpleasant for Con. Snap is going up to Fed Hobbit's going to pass. Victory points not looking good for Con either. Another Panda Voy on the way for Raptor. Looks like he's not bothering with the Sturmgeschütz, sadly. And almost done with a howitzer, almost done. Victory is slipping from our grasp. We have only 50 points remaining. And there we go, set up and ready for fire. Quick rifle grenade. Banner's going off. Oh, there's the country up north. And what is this? What is this? Up the center looks like a smoke been going down. While well, the T-34 was in, Panzer 4 moves out. And country's got north, got absolutely annihilated there by the howitzer. Good strike there from Raptor. That's all we need to do with the T-34. And there we go, GG will play from Con, GG from Raptor, and game over then by the looks of it. A rather nasty fight here with some good action on the side and in the center. Didn't just turn into a one slug out here, which is good, which is good, certainly interesting to see. Some rather slightly more rare commanders used, in particular, nice use of mechanized here by Raptor. Good use of spotting scopes, a mechanized group. It's not quite the smoke screens, I'm afraid, but otherwise, you know, the rest of you made pretty good use of, which is grand to see. Some nice armored action as well, good use of his Sturmgeschütz on top of everything else, and certainly some nice aggressive play from Khan as well. And initially some good armor play, but rather I think the problem for him came by when he sort of basically just decided to split them up, setting them one at a time, which overall made things a lot easier for Raptor to deal with. And instead I think Hanio kept on sort of trying to at least sort of get some more action out of all the T-Fellers in one way. I'm not saying he should move them like a huge block of cheese, but you know, try to attack from different angles at the same time. Instead of just hitting them one at a time. So there were some few unfortunate situations there which rather ended up giving a Raptor a more great advantage long time. Which is definitely a bit of bad news for Con in that department. Again, I think he should have gone for the Howard Early. I think he should have timed his rapid conscription a bit better. He'd done that, I think he would have done a much stronger 
throughout the game. Instead, you know, he rather ended up slowly feeding the victory to Raptor unintentionally, which is certainly unfortunate. But certainly some good play from some good play from Raptor. Raptor the also struggling a bit because he sped out too much early game, but again he was sort of able to sort of slowly get back there, partly use of mechanized units. So overall interesting match. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. If you did want to subscribe, tell your friends, share it with everyone. If not, you know, send in a replay and provide some feedback in the comments. Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links are in the description. This is Imperial Dane saying cheers.